train and bus stations in Athens were left deserted this morning as the city goes through yet another general strike. Several public services have been brought to a standstill today after some of the country's biggest trade unions vowed to show solidarity with employees at the now defunct state broadcaster ERT. But despite the inconvenience, many Greek residents seem to be sympathetic to their cause. As far as the strike is concerned, I agree with it. But the strike is not just about ERT anymore. ERT is just the tip of the iceberg. I agree with the strike, but regarding ERT, in my opinion, both sides have good points. On the one hand, people are getting fired, but on the other, there are way too many of them, and the people have to foot the bill. Overnight, hundreds of supporters gathered outside ERT's headquarters for a protest concert. Even though the government officially pulled the plug on Tuesday night, some journalists are refusing to leave the office. They're still broadcasting via a small analogue signal and live streaming on websites. ERT's closure will leave 2,600 employees without jobs, in a country struggling with record levels of unemployment. As Greece's economic recession enters a sixth year, many are blaming Brussels for this latest cutback. But EU officials have been quick to respond, saying the decision was made solely by the government in Athens. Greek politicians have accused ERT of being corrupt and overstaffed. They're now promising to replace it with a more efficient and less costly state broadcaster as soon as possible. Jerome Evans, Arise News.